Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and they just announced a brand new event for Infinite Warfare, including Infinite Warfare Zombies, called Willard Wyler's Halloween Scream. I'm going to tell you guys everything I know about the new Zombies game mode that is coming on Friday, and also discussing everything that goes on within this event. But before I get into it, let's watch a quick trailer of everything going down in this Halloween Scream event. Okay guys, so today started the event. You're gonna get a free Halloween supply drop. It should already be on your account when you go on to play, which is definitely awesome. Then on Monday next week, we're also gonna be getting another free Halloween supply drop. And then the Monday after that, we'll get another one on October 23rd. But you guys care about the boss mode, so that's exactly what I'm going to explain in this video. Okay guys, so this upcoming Friday, we're gonna be getting the boss battle mode for Spaceland and Rave in the Redwoods. Then the following week on Friday, October 20th, we're going to be getting Spaceland, Shaolin Shuffle, and Attack of the Radioactive Thing. And then the following Friday, we're going to be getting Spaceland, Director's Cut, and The Beast from Beyond. So after looking at this image, it doesn't look like this is going to be a permanent mode, and I'm not 100% sure if it is. But I did talk to Lee Ross at the early capture event, and he never said that this would be removed after the event takes place. Honestly, it wouldn't make much sense for them to remove a complete game mode from the game after this event. I think they're just going to have this special event where you get like free items and supply drops and that sort of thing. But I think this game mode is going to stay. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm about 95% sure that it would make complete nonsense for them to remove the game. And that would be so stupid if they removed the game mode but that's my personal opinion i'm sure you guys will feel the same way once you actually play the mode so now that i've talked about like the actual schedule for this stuff coming out i want to talk about the actual game mode and how it works all right guys so i did get a chance to play this game mode early so that's what i'm going to be explaining exactly right now so you start off in the afterlife arcade it's just like you're going into the super easter egg boss fight and you're in the afterlife arcade with all the arcade games now when you go in that mode there is something a little bit different now normally when you're going into the super easter egg boss fight there's a magic wheel that appears right there instead of that appearing there there is perks on the wall and you can pick any of the perks that you want now you have 25,000 points at your disposal to spend on whatever it is you want to buy now normally there's a shooting range to the left hand side of that but instead of the shooting range there is guns from the map every single gun that you could use on that map is available on the wall and when you buy one for 5,000 points it becomes completely double pack a punched already so you don't have to worry about pack a punching it again and it also includes the blasters now i only played on spaceland so i jumped in i had 25,000 points so i got two blasters and then i bought you know the standard perks quick revive or up and atoms then i bought tough enough i bought quickies i bought bang bangs and i believe i bought racing stripes so those are like the five you know essential perks that you kind of need now i was able to do it all fine get two blasters and all those perks and then i jumped into the boss fight now once again i only played on spaceland but what it has is a timer that is going to time the time it takes you to kill the entire alien and that is it it's not going to include getting the soul key or anything like that so if you were hoping to get soul keys from this game mode unfortunately it's not how it's going to work you actually have to do the entire easter egg to get the soul key but it's just literally the boss fight and that is it so you jump in right away the alien spawns in you shoot him with your blasters you kill the alien and boom that's done that is the complete mode that is the time for the mode so it's i'm assuming it's going to work exactly the same 
for the other modes as well but i think that this is something that call of duty has needed for a while we need a speed run mode that is included in zombies treyarch started making the right steps on gorod krovian revelations including a game timer as well as the main quest timer within their actual zombies mode and we've definitely needed this for a long time myself being a speedrunner, i love speedrunning easter eggs i think that it is something that call of duty has really needed in zombies for a long time and i really hope that you know sledgehammer is taking notes and including this in their actual maps so that we can enable speed running to be an actual thing but not only do we need a timer we need that to be implemented into leaderboards and leaderboards is something that infinity ward is going to be having for this new mode now once again i don't think it's going to run out i think it's going to act exactly the same way as you know the game mode works throughout and then i think it's going to continue past the halloween event and i don't think it's going to end on november 1st but that is completely infinity ward and activision's decision so if they do end up removing it i think that is a not a very good thing but hopefully it stays and you guys will be able to enjoy it now you can do this one through four players so if you want to jump in with a couple friends you can do that or you can just play solo and you still get a bunch load of keys from this now at the actual event my buddy damon that game ended up doing the space land boss fight in 52 seconds which is the fastest time that i saw i did it in like a minute and 30 seconds so it can be like a varied time and i think that the leaderboards for this are going to be pretty competitive but you're going to get some keys depending on the time that you get so for example if you do it under a minute you may get like 60 keys and if you do it over a minute maybe you'll get like 30 or like 15 or 10 or 5 i really don't know how it's going to work but lee ross did say that he wanted it to be a big reward for an insane time in this mode now once again i did get a chance to play it it was really fun it added a little bit of diversity to the actual game and i think that it's a really really good step in the right direction as far as these halloween events go and other events we had the special summer event that came back in the summer so i think that it is essential that call of duty from this point on is going to have these special events i hope they implement it into world war ii and i hope that in treyarch's game they also implement this having really cool events for special you know times of the year or you know festivities i think is a huge huge step in the right direction so anyways guys thank you for watching this video if you have questions just ask me on twitter and i'll respond to you because that's the best place to find me it's over on greg fps so just at greg fps exactly how it sounds it's in the description i'm also doing a world war ii giveaway if you want to check that out and if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like and subscribe if you're new my name is greg fps the zombies extraordinaire and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out